And with that, hello and welcome back to Let's Play Day of the Tentacle Blind. My name is Kukic and I'll be your host on this wonderful evening. And um, we've got Hoagie here. Good old burpy Hoagie. Next to a horse and a bucket? A glass of milk, possibly? So, good god, man. What, what do you drink? Alright, so we've got... A very interesting setup here. Let's let's just you know I'm not gonna even do an elaborate an, an elaborate intro. Let's just talk to the horse. Uh, hi, horsey. Hello. Oh, hi yourself. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence. Damn, what a sassy horse. I mean, th that is a nice set of teeth, though. Nice teeth. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. Oh, they're artificial. Okay. Um, we can probably do something with his teeth, then, if we're gonna be like, Hey, your teeth? Mwah. Well, I mean, yeah. It's, that That is kind of a thing in our world. Horses don't really talk. I mean, unless... I mean, we've got tentacle guys walking around, so maybe it's not that surprising. I but. didn't think horses could talk. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Ever think of that? You mean horses have been snubbing me my whole life? Well, if you want to put it that way. How rude. How rude. Hoagie is a wonderful person. He deserves to be ta to be spoken to, even if you're a horse. I mean, he has terrible manners, but you can you can look past that. You can really look past past that. Um, it's, it's not a trick. That's that's bullshit. What's nice? Yeah, sure. What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? I'm trying to get back to the future. Oh, right, we were in the past. So this horse is just standing on the second floor. Oh, sh I'm I'm not gonna get into that even. I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. Yeah. <laughs> well, to be fair, he is. I gotta go. See you later. Because of Ben Franklin, electrical engineers actually have such a tough time understanding the con- like, many people have a tough time understanding the fundamental concepts of electronics just because Ben Franklin decided that uh, one should be positively charged and one should be negatively charged and the one that he said was negatively charged actually had stuff on it so it should be the other way around but you know I'm not gonna get into that I'm not gonna get into that we do have a set of teeth from Bernard but I don't think that's gonna do much unless the horse like Puts his teeth in the glass at some point? I don't know. This is the... Oh. <laughs> Question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edison's, Ned and Jed. Mm -hmm. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. <laughs> Hold still, Jed! So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Absolutely. Or the model? I'm the model. Should I take my clothes off now? Yeah. Delivery, man. Um, but rock is my life. <laughs> I'm no marble delivery man, but rock is my life. <laughs> I'm sure that's terribly amusing. Where you're from. Where exactly did you come from? Long story. I came out of the loo, actually. I'm on the road a lot. Mm. The future. Yeah, let's just let's just be honest, man. I'm I'm sure that's a good idea. The future. Ka 
kind of spooky sounding, ain't it? Ooh, the future. I'm from the future. Look out. Gosh, it would be so nice if you weren't here <laughs> anymore. Okay, dude. I'm, I'm gonna undress myself so seductively in front of you guys that you can't even resist. I'm the model. Should I take my clothes off now? No. No, you most definitely should not. We couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. That's okay. It would have one anyway. <laughs> Look, don't call <laughs> us. We'll call you. Dang. Okay, well, I mean, we might as well go with the last one as well. I'm the delivery man, okay? If I unload in here... Actually, we are well supplied with medium, so thank you, no. This ain't medium, it's the extra large stuff. Yeah, we, I can tell. This ain't medium, it's the extra large stuff. Please go away. <laughs> we artists are very sensitive to your kind of people. Whoa. Whoa. What kind of people? What kind of people? Big dumb people. Don't even say sorry, man. He doesn't deserve a sorry. Just walk out of there. Walk out of his life. He doesn't deserve you, man. You deserve so much sorry, better. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. I'm gonna jostle you guys even more. Like, just use use the can opener on him. I'd rather not. Why not use f throw a piece of bucket? I don't wanna. <laughs> Throw a piece of bucket. Um, make him spaghetti and then eat it in front of him. I don't wanna. Okay, fine. Can you use the spaghetti with a bu bucket full of water? I don't actually? wanna. Okay, fine. What if we use the soap? The with water's the all sudsy now. Oh wait, I remember. Oh, okay. Soon all the power of the heavens will be mine. All oh, mine. If only we had some nasty weather. How can I make the weather nasty? Look, but there was something else that I realized we can do right now. So I'm just gonna really quickly go downstairs and outside because I remember that we can wash the, the, the thing, the carriage. Use the soapy water on the carriage? I mean, I don't know what purpose, dum -dum. What purpose it serves, but... What? Looks like a big storm. See, this is why I never wash my car. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Ben. What do you want? Where are you going? What about your experiment? Even science sometimes gets cold on account of rain, my boy. But how are you ever going to get lightning if you're not going to stand out in a storm? Yeah. To be frank, which I am, I don't know. The science of electrodynamics, much like your mind apparently, is still in a state of relative infancy. Back to the drawing board, I say. What ben. a genius. Hoagie. I'm, you know, whatever. We all make mistakes. Uh, did he leave something behind, maybe, that we can take now that he's gone? Must have served some purpose that we shoot him away from here, right? No, there's nothing. So, I guess we do something with him uh, in his room? <laughs> that sounds terrible, but, you know, why, why not? Okay. Maybe I can get his key. Or his kite. Can I get his kite? Okay. Uh, which one was Ben Franklin's room? This one, right? Or was it this one? No, this one was the American flag. Okay. Ben. Hi. What the hell? Sorry, can't talk. Busy making history. 
So what purpose did it serve? Uh, pick up plants? I don't understand that technical stuff. Alright. Hi. Sorry, can't talk. Okay, sure. Um, I have no idea what the point of that was then. Hello, kitty cat and squeaky mouse toy. They had those 200 years ago? That doesn't seem very accurate, but sure. Can I close the trap door? I can. So, what purpose does that serve? Man, the game is probably letting you do all these things and just not do anything with them, like, just to troll you, just to, like, be a red herring, I guess. Hoagie, get your shit together. Okay, we've got some red paint. Was there something we had to paint red? Probably a black door. Um... Oh, Ned and Jed live here. Ha! <laughs> nice place. That That's what an artist degree gets you. It's blocked up with somebody's bed. Yeah, fucking Jed. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Hoagie. I mean, if you're comfortable with yourself, that's great. But if not, you should look into losing some weight, maybe. Clunk. Okay, are we supposed to get the squeaky mouse toy? Do we, what do we do? No, no just use Net, Net's bed. Use Net's bed! Cats dig these. Okay, so we need to be faster, eh? Okay. What? Yipe. Yipe. Come on, it's a cat, dude. You, you, I think you can steal a squeaky mouse toy from a cat. Alright, so... What if we change the mattresses? Ah! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Sounds like the cat's caught a moose up there. That was a very elaborate scheme, my friend. Alright, how do I use Jed's bed? Alright, and then just... Yeah. Yeah, now pick up the squeaky mouse toy. <gasps> Damn, son. Oh, now the cat just stays over there. Now it's like, well, this bed is clearly more interesting than the last one. Okay, so I have a squeaky mouse toy. I have a wine bottle. I have red paint. What can I do with all of these? Hmm. Why is this closed? I guess I'm gonna go downstairs and talk to the Founding Fathers again, cause, um, hey, actually. What's up? Hey, mummy guy. Oh, right, I need stuff for the battery. I've, I almost completely forgot about that line of the story. Um, yeah, where can I get some vinegar? Nowhere I can get some vinegar. Okay, M maybe in a restaurant. Any restaurants nearby? Know where I can get some gold? So rude. Maybe some Krugerrands? What? What are that? What are those? What are those? Maybe some Krugerrands. Great hat, man. I feel like I did this already. Mm, I know some dudes in a band who'd eat roaches for hats like that. What? Know where I could get one? Yeah, I figured. Okay, sure. Oh, Jesus. Um. 
Would I need to go to a specialty store? I don't suppose you'd consider parting with yours, would you? I'm just holding well, out. Well, let me know if you change your mind. I'm holding well, out. Nice talking to you, dude. I'm holding out hope that maybe if I talk to this guy enough, he'll be like, "Yo, what up? I can talk." Yo. Like John Hello. Hammock. Yeah, shouldn't you be working, you lazy assholes? Shouldn't you guys be working instead of just sitting there? Writer's block. We can't think of any um, amendments or anything, so we put a suggestion box over there. I don't suppose you have any b brilliant ideas. Uh, let me check my inventory for that, actually. Because I think we're, we can't just put ideas in there. We need to actually have an item. Yeah, free sandwiches for all roadies. What about free sandwiches for all roadies? No, there's no such thing as... Roadies? Don't say it, dude. I've heard it before. Oh, I've, I'm lost on this. How come you sign your name so big? Astigmatism. <laughs> you mean you have, like, a childhood complex? What? <laughs> Hoagie, you have no idea, do you? You mean you have, like, a childhood complex? All right. The, the truth is that a friend once told me that women go c crazy over guys with a big signature. You know what they say about a guy with a big signature, right? Awesome blanket there, dude. Thank you. It was given to me by my dear old colorblind Aunt Hattie. Well, I gotta go, dude. There, there's a thing in your family with eye things, isn't there? Okay. Jefferson? Yo, Tom. Thomas! God damn it. How's the time capsule? So, how's the time capsule going? I'm sorry to say that except for my log, we haven't got a thing. Um, Constitution? How what about that? the framing of the Constitution? Not so well. We can't decide whether we should allow a free press or impose a tax. I sure hope someone gives us a useful suggestion soon. Um, how can you let Hancock suffer like that? A real man is warmed by the fires of his spirit. Yeah, yeah, look at Washington. Listen to Washington relate his experiences at Valley Forge and take heed. Well, later, dude. What? What's going to happen later? I have a crazy idea. We need vinegar, right? Um, and this is 200 years in the past, so what if we let the wine ferment for 200 years? Can we put that in the time capsule? Thank you. This is exactly the sort of thing I need for the time capsule. Well. I'll bury it tonight, and it won't be seen for hundreds of years. Future generations are in your debt. Whoa. Such a great idea to put wine in a time capsule. I'm sure people in 200 years from now will appreciate that. Okay, can I just write in the Constitution? Hey, keep your hands off that. I'm trying to help. Sure, fine, whatever. Uh, excuse me. Yes? I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Pondering the great truths, eh? Well... Would you give me a demonstration? Mm. He's not gonna do anything. I don't see why I should. Yeah, we need to coax him into it, but the problem is there's no cherry trees outside, so he won't do it not regardless of what I say. Cold enough for you? Cold? Why, you don't know the meaning of the word. I spent a winter at Valley Forge. Now that was cold. Why, my spit would freeze before it hit the ground. That's kind of cool. cool. Extremely. Uh. Wow, this guy's so me. rude. Yes. He just ends the conversation even though we weren't done. Do you really have wooden teeth? 
As a matter of fact, I do make use of artificial teeth. I find them to be far superior to the ordinary enamel variety. Hmm. Where could I get some of those? They're rather expensive. Mine were custom made for me by my good friend Paul Revere. Okay. Didn't he invent 3D glasses? Hoagie man. Okay. You know what? I well, have to go I now. I gotta actually. go now. All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna figure out what the hell to do with these guys. But I mean, we've we've made some progress. We put wine in a time capsule. We uh, washed a carriage and coaxed Ben Franklin inside, even though I have no idea what that did. So, I mean, we, we did a few things, and I'll figure out more, don't you worry about it. We still have Bernard, we mostly went around with Hoagie today, so... There's still a lot to explore, and I think we can, we can, we can go through this fairly easily. Alright, but, I hope you enjoyed watching, if you did, please leave a like, maybe subscribe, maybe share the video around, it's up to you, but it would help Hoagie not to fucking burp in my outros anymore. Uh, leave your favorite moment of this video in the comments, if you have one. If not, that's fine too. Just always, always remember, never forget, don't skip skew. I'm Skewage and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. That sounds good. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. That was Ashley, red! I need to tell you something. <laughs> Ashley, I'm you're colorblind. No, no, it's not like that. Why now?